For this video, we're going to take a look at some of the problems that your students might encounter and ways that you can help them um, troubleshooting what might be the issue. One of the things that we hear happens from time to time is that the student will complain that they did not receive the assignment or that they do not have the uh, document any longer. So I'm going to show you what the student view looks like for these types of activities. The student here was assigned a grammar lesson, and that grammar lesson was included as a slide deck. And from here, what students tend to do is they click on this spot that says View Assignment. When they click on View Assignment, instead of clicking on their name to actually open up the one that was assigned specifically to them, they will accidentally click the X. And when they do that, the assignment disappears. And so now they don't have it any longer. One solution is to make a copy, which they will then have to upload. Or as a teacher, you can re reassign that lesson to them. So that is one possibility of what may be happening with that assignment. Another thing that tends to happen is that students will get an assignment and it doesn't have anything attached. If that's the case, what they need to do is add or create the assignment. So this journal assignment says to create a Google Doc or a Google Slide Deck to begin their daily journal. So they can do either one. So if I were to add a Google Doc, that's going to create the document and that student will be able to turn that document in directly from the Google Classroom. So they can type in the date and begin their journal. And when they're finished, they can click the Turn In button. And that will turn it in directly to Google Classroom. Sometimes it's helpful to know what the student view is. The next thing that will happen with that is now, the daily journal has been turned in and the child goes to open it up to add something. When they do that, it will come back to them as a view only. And then we get the emails and the text that say, I can't open it because it's view only. One option is they can send the edit request, but another is before they open it, they can unsubmit it. If they unsubmit it, it's like taking it out of the turn in box and now they'll be able to edit again. Hopefully that helps clarify that. And the final thing that happens is that when students are working on a slide deck, they don't see the turn in button and they're not sure how to turn their work back in. So for this activity, we're gonna look at the goal pages here. We're gonna look at this assignment I'm going to click on the student's name instead of the X. It's going to open the assignment for me. Now, on the other page, when we had our document open, we had an option to turn in our completed assignment. On this one, once the activity is done, instead of clicking on turn in up here, what they have to do is go back at the top tab to their distance learning goal page click on that top tab, and that's where they will see the turn in button. So they have to use the tabs at the top of their computer to go back and forth between the slide deck and the classroom. Once they do that, they can turn in the slide deck. Hopefully this helps you to be able to troubleshoot some of the questions students may present to you.